Okay guys, it's launch day today and I am starting to prep some of my milk carton and water bottles for the huge summer launch that I'm having. Basically, I'm gonna be making all of my milk carton water bottles right now. And there's really not that many. I'll show you what I have in stock for these. Here's all the stock that I have. And mind you, each um, milk carton water bottle takes up four sides of these. So if you see, it is truly not that much at all. And that's why I try to be like really honest about this launch is that there is literally hardly anything in stock. I think there's only gonna be like maybe three of each design three to four maybe five for some of them this is a very very small launch for the milk carton water bottles just because so many people have been asking for them and it's kind of like a trial run also don't think i'm gonna be restocking i really don't know it's kind of all up in the air but at least not for a while i'll be restocking anyway so i'm gonna make literally everything that i have so that they're on the shelf ready to go for the launch and yeah hopefully we'll see if the hype is still there for these but that's what i'm gonna be doing now prepping these let's get to work because there is so much to do guys it's the next day now and i don't know if you can see that but these bottles go all the way back over there and these are all completely sold out at the moment except for three of these there's only three of these left but all the rest of them are completely gone sold out so it's 11 o'clock right now and last night was the launch at 6 p.m here's about 40 orders just from the launch last night which is great it went so well and i'm so happy all of these completely sold out you guys it's crazy everyone also really loved these mugs um so i had to restock these a couple times i'm gonna keep these coming for sure everyone loved them they did so well and now it's time to work on these orders so let's go okay so i made like a little line up here of all the different cups i have to make so all these are getting made these are all getting made as well and these mugs are all getting made so so i'm gonna be pretty busy today i also have to make some phone cases some tote bags all that good stuff so it's gonna be a long day and let's just get started because we have no time to waste So this is all the cups that I got done the other day. All of these here, all of these here, um, and pretty much all of this here. This all has to be packed, but before we do that, I still have to do some work in the garage. Um, I have to make some phone cases, some tote bags, some apparel, and um, press some cups as well. So I'm gonna do that before we start packing orders because I like to have everything ready just to pack. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna pack all of this here. So, so let's get to work so all of these can get on their way to their new home.
I finished all my work that I need to do and here is all the tote bags that I made and I just wanted to quickly show you because I've never had tote bags on my shop before and I thought they were perfect for like market season and summer and things like that so tell me what you guys think okay so from this angle a lot of people are saying that it looks like snop like that like that looks like an n um and i can totally see that and i totally agree with it but from this angle doesn't it look like shop local or does it still look like snop because i can fix that but i mean i don't i don't know maybe it's just the angle because from here i feel like it looks normal but from here i can totally see why people think it's like an n so i don't know leave, let me know in the comments down below if i should change that because i feel like i don't know i feel like from up here it looks like normal I don't know let me lean please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think because i have gotten a couple comments of um people saying that it looks like snot but anyways guys yeah these are the new tote bags i'm super super excited and i love them so much but anyways let's start packing orders okay i just finished filming some asmr videos for my instagram tiktok all that good stuff and i realized i literally have one thank you card left and i have no more so i'm gonna need to order some and in the meantime we're gonna have to improvise and print some out with my printer taking it old school back to my roots so let's print out some thank you cards okay guys i'm in camera right now i'm getting ready to print this and i just quickly wanted to let you know if you want a tutorial on how to make your own thank you cards from home i do have one right here that you can go watch and i feel like this goes without saying but so many people are stealing my branding right now so please do not copy my same exact exact design please add your own creative touch and your own branding um there are just so many branding thieves right now it's insane but yeah i always want to help you guys out i just ask that you please 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 use your own creative touch and your own branding so you can check out that video here but anyways let's print some thank you cards <music> Okay, so I printed some temporary cards. Um, in the meantime, while I get some new ones, they're only front-sided. I didn't do the back because I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So um, I'm just gonna add a little freebie sticker like on top of this. But for now, in a pinch, it'll do. So let's pack some orders. I have my helper with me today. So let's get started. order while we have a little talk about changes and updates that I wanted to mention to you guys so let's pack this order the first thing I wanted to give you guys an update about is the warehouse um, I am still on the hunt for a new space to house my business I'm being very patient because I want to find like not the perfect space for me but close to that and a lot of the areas nearby have like these huge gigantic um, warehouses that are like more than enough space that I need but they're almost like too big for one person you know so it's um it's been a little difficult to find something more with like an office -y studio type feel that's like not like super super huge um I do want some room to grow though so uh yeah it's been difficult and not only that the rents are kind of insane. I've been seeing like some warehouses that have that are like six thousand dollars a month and stuff like that. Not ideal. So I'm gonna keep looking because I also have to think about the future. Business is not always gonna be booming. There is definitely slow seasons. Like now that it's summer, it's kind of picking up again. But the first couple months of the year of the new year, 
it's it's typically a lot slower for small businesses and so that's something that I have to think about with all my other expenses and then if I don't have like my income every single month is not the same it's always different so that's another thing another factor to kind of um, think about so I don't want to make any impulse decisions so I'm being as patient as I can so that's the first thing I want to talk to you guys about the second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I have been working on a rebrand for a couple months now and I'm so so excited it's almost finally done um, and this has been a lengthy process because I wanted to make sure that I go with something that is going to be long term you know like I don't just want to keep changing my um, logo every you know so often um, but something that I can kind of build on and make minor changes if I want to. I am officially having a rebrand and I'm hoping to do it definitely during the summer and before I move into the new space so that I can kind of rearrange everything here and like show the rebrand in the space that I am now so that people can recognize it when I do move to the new space. And of course, I'm going to share with you all the details, show you like how I made my logo because I did do it myself. Um, and all that good stuff and all the new packaging and i'm so so excited you guys i truly do love it um i try to keep like the same theme of course with the pink and everything and this is a tip for you guys as well if you guys are small business owners or looking to start a small business one thing that i regret about my logo um i'll show you is that it is a logo with like separated by colors so you can visibly see the only thing is that these little flowers have so many tiny little parts which make it hard for certain design things it's really difficult to work with in that sense um and so this time around i really wanted to make it kind of just more a little bit more plain and more professional looking if that makes sense if you're starting a business to make your logo definitely svg style which means that all the the components are separated by colors and shapes and i will explain more about that process when i finally do the rebrand i'm going to show you everything of course for the time being um i can't share too much but yeah guys i'm so so excited for the rebrand it's going to be so fun and it's been almost a year and a half of my business i think a little longer so it's definitely time to switch it up again i feel like i've kind of outgrown some of my things and then you know i just good to have a fresh start i just wanted to update you guys on those two things i'm so excited for what the future holds and all the videos that i'm going to be putting out for you guys and i just i can't wait make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video make sure to check out my tiktok and instagram for more content and i will see you in the next one